Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our recent highlights in IP video. Um, this is just a, a short video that just summarises the development that's been put into IP over the past three or four years. So perhaps you're a, a user who's using a, an older version of IP and are keen to see uh, what's been added recently. We hope this will give you a, a, a good summary. But if there's anything you would like to know more detail of, uh, please just get in touch. So we've had three uh, major releases over that period from uh, IP 4.3 through to IP 4.5. Um, and the general theme uh, has been that we're constantly trying to improve our uh, petrophysics workflows, which is the, the core of IP. But we're also branching out into uh, other subsurface discipline uh, workflows. So you can see we'll We've now got some comprehensive workflows for these various uh, disciplines. And these tools allow you to, uh, to monitor your wells throughout the lifetime of your, of your asset, from exploration uh, right through to production and even abandonment now. So 2015, we saw IP 4.3 being released. Now, within that release, there was a large number of brand new advanced modules. You can see them listed here. We had our wellbore stability module. Um, so that went into our geomechanics workflow. That was really the, ma the last piece of the jigsaw, if you like, to, uh, to give us a comprehensive geomechanics workflow that we have, have now. <coughs> we had a new uh, hydraulic flow units module. So that's like a rock classification module based on porosity and permeability. Uh, new method, uh, new petrophysical methodology in the sand silt Malay model. Uh, we also introduced our geosteering uh, module that was uh, developed in, in collaboration with Apache and is now available to everyone. Acoustic waveform processing is another big module that was introduced for reprocessing your data to get uh, compressional and uh, shear, shear curves from your raw waveforms. Um, and we also introduced the co uh, standalone contingency table, which was previously part of the SOM workflow, but is now a standalone module. There's various other, um, as well, the module, various new functionality and enhancement that, that was the first time we introduced uh, real multi-user multi access. Um, before you could uh, share share wells between users, but you couldn't use the same well at the same time. Uh, now you can. Um, obviously, there's complications when you if you maybe want to save data that someone else is working in your well. So we've got a very good system now for highlighting when there's a conflict and allowing you to resolve that conflict of uh, saving saving the same data at the same time. Lots of uh, enhancements to additional modules. We saw the introduction of 3D SOM, um, Mineral Solver became multi-well. Enhancements to image analysis, including new histograms and thresholds that allow you to uh, colour the image. Um, a new curve normalisation module. And we also improved the, the performance of the, uh, of the product. Uh, there's, there's obviously a lot of uh, new technology going into our, uh, our hardware these days. So many of your uh, laptops are, are multi-core now. The software needs to be updated to, to harness that power. So a lot of the modules were updated uh, to take advantage of that and the, the performance should have improved uh, significantly. So that was 4.3, but uh, so now we're into 2016, we had 4.4, new functionality, a querying tool, um, database uh, well filter, so that's actually in your data browser. You can filter which wells you see based on uh, 
anything to do in the, in the well header or the type of data that's in it. Graphical workflow designer, which allows you to create a workflow based on multiple modules within IP. So once you're happy with your workflow, you can save that and you could reuse that yourself. Or you can save it and pass it on to someone else in your, uh, in your company. So that way you could actually standardize your workflows to keep uh, consistent results uh, between different, different users. Some updates to log plots and cross plots. Uh, log header editor. So you can actually, there's various templates for headers and you can actually just actually type in the information onto the header. That can be synced with your well header uh, in, your, in your wells within that IP. Um, and we also created the, the plot composer as well. So plot composer takes the various sections of uh, log that you have, your, your log plot, your header, um, any other type of graphic you want can go in there and you can build up your, your complete log plot. Uh, and you could plot that out uh, to, to the printer or maybe save as a PDF. But you have the flexibility to, to use any image log plot or header uh, in that module. We also introduced well diagrams. So now there's a well diagram manager, you can build these images, and these images can be plotted on any log track beside data. You can see there's a cross section there of it as well, and also a 3D view of it. So, what else went into 2016? Uh, or IP 4.4, well there was updates to existing modules, um, NMR, we saw some uh, additional methodology for light hydrocarbons and permeability. Saturation height module, we introduced uh, user defined equations rather than just using the standard ones, you can put in your own uh, equations. Mineral solver became non-linear, previously only a uh, linear solver. That, be, that was uh, upgraded um, and also a significant upgrade to production logging which was previously conventional uh, centralized tools but now we can use advanced array tools um, and calculate flow in highly deviated or horizontal wells. So that brings us up to 2018 where we released version 4.5 now, the, um, the approach we took was slightly different in this uh, release. Obviously, in the lead up to this, the, mar the industry had been going through uh, a very difficult time. Uh, we listened to our clients, and there, there wasn't the same appetite to buy new additional modules in IP. What they wanted to see was uh, improvements to the, the everyday workflows that they use. So you can see a whole uh, list of... Uh, different smaller enhancements that we, we added in, you know, improvements to uh, log plots. We had uh, the ability to save, save sessions, um, curve grouping, which allows you to label a curve with a group name. And that uh, group name can be displayed in your data browser so you can see it almost adds a new uh, level of hierarchy. You now have your well, your curve set and also your group name in there. Uh, coordinate reference systems, uh, we previously only used one reference system, now we've got a whole database of them. You can uh, convert your well header to whatever uh, reference system you, you wish. And we saw some uh, significant performance uh, upgrades for larger files. More and more uh, of our clients are now receiving data, huge data sets from service companies that might be you know up to 20 gig in size just from one tool type. Uh, so that means we you know we've had to upgrade IP to handle those types of data sets that just didn't exist in years gone by. Um, so we've improved the performance uh, everywhere within you know, running the module, uh, loading data, plotting data. All these areas of IP have been enhanced for large data sets. 
What else in 2018? Um, we introduced a new licensing system which uh, lets our, your, our clients uh, monitor the usage of IP. Um, we introduced quite a few new plot styles. So you can see here we've got box and whisker style plots, uh, star plots and spectral plots. Further updates to the production logging module. So you can see here some new graphical displays representing flow uh, across the, the borehole. More updates to acoustics. More updates to image analysis, which was included the deconvolution of images, and the the data from those uh, that deconvolution process can then be fed into cluster analysis. And you can see uh, here where we've combined the result of cluster analysis with those deconvolved images. A uh, couple of new modules: one for brittleness within the unconventionals workflow, uh, Briggs Color Cubing app. Um, which is a rock classification based on gamma, uh, gamma spectral data. Um, and we saw significant improvement in the synchronization between IP and our other product, uh, IC. And that's something we're continuing to work on and try and bring the two products closer together. So that brings us up to date with where we are with IP 2018. Obviously, we're into 2019 now. Uh, our next major release is due this spring. Um, just a sneak peek at what will be coming there. We've got global parameter sets, which is a single parameter set that sits above the well level that can be used to control multiple wells. Tilted parameters, which is a very interesting new feature that uh, we look forward to showing everyone. An auto-edit module, a multi-well batch plotting module, significant enhancements to saturation height module and much more. So uh, I would look out for the, the webinar where we'll be telling you uh, a lot more about what is coming in this, uh, this next release. So I hope that I gave you a good summary of what we've, uh, what we've been working on the past few years. Uh, if you'd like to know any more details about any of these features, uh, please just let us know. Thanks for listening.